Good afternoon. This is Mario from the Global Weather News Trends YouTube channel. Today is October 29th, 2018. The time is 5.46 p.m. Central Time. Welcome back. Um, it's been a good day today. And one thing we're going to go over, and like I said, each, each day we might mix it up, is that we're going to talk about global monitoring tools on here. And that's the whole purpose of the channel is to to go over information, what's out there, what tools to use, um, what other information out there, uh, especially some news items on there. So one of the things we're going to start with is the Bintusky.com site. And what this at a global scale, and it's, it's a nice thing, you can see the whole world at a, at a glance, and you can actually see what the weather is for today going on. What weather systems, especially the, the rain, the winds, on here at a global aspect on here and then the nice thing about this it allows you to select each day so you can plan ahead to see if there's anything interesting like what hurricane oscar right there and it tells you the rain the totals right there so you can actually put your mouse on there and get some good um, estimates on here and as you can see as we progress the the rains uh, like here in the united states or heading to the east coast we jump to the seventh and uh, basically, you can see what's going on. I like it. It's pretty accurate. And again, it tells you a lot what's going on on here. Um, let me go back here. And you see Hurricane U2. And let's see where the progression is. And it hits uh, basically southern China there. But again, great tool. You can switch to temperatures. And this is at a global scale here. And when the nice thing is, again, you can go back to today's date and see what the temperatures are, especially in the United States. It's half warm, half cool. Uh, South America is baking uh, right now so, uh, because it's already summer, beginning summer, and Africa is also up there. And then you'll notice very cold weather, uh, basically in Nepal on here, uh, and Siberia is getting colder, and Australia is always getting hot. And uh, Europe is getting a little cooler here, and this is in Fahrenheit. But again, you can see what the thing is, uh, the temperatures. As we progress, um, you'll see things are getting colder and colder, especially in Siberia, north, northwest Siberia, northwest R Russia. And the United States is still cool, but we're going to jump to the 7th, and you're going to see a lot of changes, and especially in uh, northern Ma um, Russia on here. And then you'll see northern Canada. So there's some cold weather up here, and this is a negative. So let's see what happens if it does come down to the United States here. Again, um, both South America and Africa are still baking on here. But um, again, cool in Europe on here. So the next thing we're going to talk about, and this is something similar to what Dutch Sense uses too. His is more fancy than this one here, but it's the same map. He just has a subscription there. He could do more modifications. But you also have access to this. It's free. It's the Earthquake 3D live map. And I like to use it just at a glance here. Um, and you can see a lot of earthquakes uh, activity in Italy on here. Usually uh, normal earthquakes around the Ring of Fire, especially uh, around New Zealand. There's a lot of activity going on. But right now, nothing major that's sticking out. Uh, you do have some New Zealand. Uh, some around uh, Japan, uh, but again, Italy's rocking right now, so hopefully nothing major will come around. And the thing, the other thing we look at is the Pacific Disaster Alert map. And again, this is used by corporations and companies and countries that keep track of global activities going on. So if you don't see the news or the weather.com, this is a great map to use. And actually, again. What we can see here gives you projections, uh, what's current. Right now, there's a tornado going on in Portland. Activity here. There's a drought. Um, we're looking at earthquakes, a volcano eruption in Mexico. And then we have an earthquake. Oh, no, sorry, another volcano there going on. There's a Earth 5.0 in Colombia. A couple of earthquakes in Ecuador. So a lot of activity going on, on here. Um, also in Italy here, Greece, 6.8, that's a big one there. And then we have 5.5 in Romania. 
and then we have an earthquake there in India, so 5.1. So again, great map includes weather and activity. So to me, it's great to look at it once in a while, see what's going on, especially in Africa, you see a case of Ebola. So the next, the two topics we're gonna to talk about is basically the astronomers have detected ghostly dust cloud orbiting our Earth. And it, it kind of sounds kind of scary, but it's not really. Well, what it is, what they're talking about, interesting topic for today, is for decades, the existence of weird space clouds in or Earth's orbits have been speculative and controversial. But new research looks to validate their strange reality after all. So they call it the Kordulisky clouds. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. There's mysterious swarms of dust trapped between the competing gravitational fields of Earth and Moon were first hypothesized back in the 1950s. And although evidence for their existence was faint. So what they're saying in this article, and I'll let you read of it, is that basically there's a tug of war for items, um, basically rocks, dust, that's trapped between the gravitational forces between the uh, Earth and Moon and actually from the what they say here in the article between Earth and Mars, Earth and Venus, the Sun and Earth. So a lot of things going on. Um, they call it dusty pseudo satellites and orbits along our along with the Moon. So, you know, we look at the night sky, we just don't just the Moon's not by itself. There's a lot of details we can't see. And with this article, it just points out to that, basically, and it gives you some interesting information. So another highlight of uh, what, what affects our Earth and what goes on. So the next one we're going to talk about is, they call it the blob. And uh, basically, on here, and the blob, what that is, is it's not like the movie itself. It's not going to go after you, eat you up. But it, it, it's a, basically um, a disturbance in the atmosphere that's heating up Alaska right now and the west coast of Canada and California, Oregon and Washington. So um, what, it, what it talks about, there's a returning patch of warm water in the North Pacific called the blob, which could spell wonky weather for the US this winter, or that's what recent news reports suggest. So what it is, is again, just warm weather that um, that is appearing there. Part of it's, and they don't say this, is part of the Grand Solar Minimum, which uh, uh, Adopt 2030 and Upper Hand Ranch talks about too. So things to look at there. So interesting article, talks about where the current blob is coming from, how long it's gonna stay, how it's gonna affect us. But if you pay attention to the Upper Hand Ranch, um, basically there is, this is related to the Grand Solar Minimum, and it's already expected that Alaska is going to get warmer than usual on here. So all this is part of that. So interesting article to look at. So I do appreciate your time. Please do like and share my YouTube channel. I'm going through a lot of changes, and uh, I'll accept any comments, feedback, please. Uh, thank you, and have a great day.